Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you're having an awesome week. No, I do not have the All-Star Superman review ready yet. I'm sorry. I've uh, been crazy busy at work. In fact, these unboxings you're about to see, I'm going to fill them, film them one after the other on the same cut. Just because I don't know when I'm going to have time to do anything else. Like I said, it, it's a good problem to have being busy at work. But stick around to see what I got to unbox. So, after the world's longest cold open, let me unbox the first thing. I, I'm, boxing, I'm unboxing these in the order that I got them. So after this unboxing ends, uh, either Monday or Wednesday, I'll have the second unboxing done. So I did these in order when I got them in. So first up, is this big old box here. I remember my knife right before, if I can open it, there we go. My key knife I got from my father-in-law. get this all done. This is a thick one. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Yup. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Okay. Let me tell y'all what this is. I'm going to show you all the big thing first. I'm show you the big thing first. So, we have, and we've talked about this book many a time. I'm going to reread this thing now that I have it. But this is trade number one of Immortal Era, Pieces of Death. This collects issues one through six. Got it signed there. This is an awesome story. I, I'm going to be super honest. I haven't caught up on the issues yet. I know it's been a while, but there's just a ton of stuff to read. Plus, I read for work, too. Uh, so now having them all collected, I can go read them. Bang, bang, bang. But that's not all this was. So we got one through six the trade, volume one. But we also got... Do-do-do-do... Issue number seven. I'm going to take that out of the bag for you. We got issue number seven. Hopefully that glare isn't too much. One of these days, we're going to have the camera and the light set up to where it doesn't look like I'm filming this outside in the sunlight. But uh, I'll give you a little information about these books. So, Immortal Era, written by Edward Davis. Art by Cesar Oliveira, colors by Maja Opacic, or Opacic, I'm sorry if I mispronounced any of that. Uh, this one was lettered and designed by Dan Schmidt. The assistant editor was Tony Pip Pipitone, and the editor was Aaron Dowen for issue 7. I want to say, and let me just open the, that very beautiful print now. Or the print. That very beautiful trade is what I meant to say because the, the cover is just so nice. Um, now, I did go with the soft cover on this, and it's mainly because I believe that the plan eventually is to have enough stuff to put in an omnibus. So I'm going to get the trays, and then once Edward gets to that on omnibus level, which I know he will because the story is excellent, uh, I'll probably be getting that. Well, let's see who we have in this one. So, Pieces of Death, written by Edward Davis, art by Cesar Oliveira, colors by Viviana Spinelli, letters by Manny Hernandez, assistant editor Tony Pipitone, editor for issues 1 through 5 was April Davis, and issue 6, now that this uh, gentleman and his wife are part of the experience, I, I know how to say his name, Chuck Pino. Uh, he has a show on the experience called 3T uh, Talk, Trivia, and Treats. It's a trivia show that comes on Wednesday on the experience. 
short little plug there but now back to this back to this so we got that awesome I just I love this cover I love this cover I love the fact that it, it's it's so contrasting when you look at the back cover and then you go the back cover when you look at the front cover sorry I'm getting excited and you look at this front cover and then you turn around and you have this black and yellow going on back here. I, I love the way this book looks. This is a thick book. This is one through six. Like I said, uh, I'll go ahead and pull this one out one more time. Show you that. This is issue number seven. That's not all we got, though. Uh, I have something else here. It was right on top. Uh... Like most of the time, Edward always sends us a letter. And I tell you what, uh, I'm going to keep the letter to us. A uh, very personable kind of thing. I know sometimes I read them, but I've, I've started to be like, you know what, I think I, think I want to keep the, the handwritten notes to us. But inside the handwritten note, as always, we're going to have our magnets for the covers. Well, let me get it out of light there. There, magnet for this cover for the trade, and we got uh, some stick. Oh, let me get it out the light there. Stickers. Tell you, stickers, magnets, and the pins. Always, always love getting them. Speaking of pins, got a different kind of pin this time. I was, I was excited when I saw this. This was a uh, kind of at the bottom of the packaging. Check that out. A finish line comics pin. I think uh, I know it's green. I want to say the co the color of the metal is rose gold, but I'm not. I don't know my colors, so pay no mind to me. But really sweet pin that I will definitely be using for work, whether it be the experience stuff or trying the true stuff when I'm writing my notes for eventually when we get to do another Kickstarter corner. Uh, the way schedules scheduling works out. Those are very few and far between these days, but hopefully soon we'll get something worked out. So yeah, I've got pin, got the awesome stickers and magnets, got the very lovely handwritten note that I will I will definitely read, Edward. I just I think I want to keep this one to us. You you guys you guys always say just the nicest things, and trust me, boss, we we appreciate anything and everything we get from y'all. So I'm going to keep the letter for us. And I'm not going to take them out of the bag again, but we got that Immortal Era issue number seven. And then we got that awesome, just, I love this cover. I'm so I know I keep saying that, but I love this cover. Immortal Era, volume one, Pieces of Death. So... That is all I got for this unboxing. I'm going to end this by saying don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you stuck around this far to the end of the video, make sure you click on one of these things. I always have a 50-50 chance. Actually, usually it's a 100% chance because Sean posts something on either side. so Or both sides, I mean. So, there you go. You make sure you have an awesome weekend, and I will catch you in the next one. Later, Tots.